Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to episode number two of Sokoban, uh, the RPG. And yeah, I've kind of had to replay the beginning bit because um, I didn't pay attention uh, to the fact that I could actually sit in a bed to save my save spots. So um, yeah, I need to remember that. Also, hopefully, we're going to have a much better time in the first episode. I feel like I, the first episode was just um, a complete and utter fail, which I hope the, um, the, the rest of the game... Um, isn't a similar sort of thing uh, for us, but um, I'm sure we will progress. Uh, I don't really know. I, it was kind of a bit different. That first puzzle was a bit different to what I was expecting from what I'd read from the description. But um, hey ho, we'll carry on here and, and see what we can do. So we have a torch there that we can pick up, but we can't actually get into there just yet, it seems. Uh, don't know what that thing is. It's a bit weird. Don't forget you can run fast using the shift button. That way we can make it through the hallway a lot quicker. Yeah, look at that. It's just got various like rock formations and bits and pieces going on here by the looks of it. I guess those torches we're not going to be able to pick up. Uh, is there anything? No, that's just a wall. Alright. That's a long ass hallway. <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a tutorial to teach you or remind you about running. There's a hole. It's the lights again. This isn't the exit. Alright, so. I'm pretty very sleepy, but maybe I'll lay down for a bit. It's a good idea. Let's save. Fantastic. Boulder is back in my puff. Looks like I can roll it out of the way very easily, though. Oh no, it appears the door on the other side of the room is locked. Is this another puzzle? Maybe. Maybe? If so, I bet it has something to do with these boulders. Yeah. There's something fishy about those holes in the ground as well. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is if I can walk over here. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Okay, I thought what was going to happen is if I walk over there I was going to actually like fall down I thought there were maybe holes but um, no I guess they are pressure plates so yeah that's kind of more of the thing I was expecting from the game I guess are you kidding me? there are more of these puzzles well at least it wasn't so difficult maybe I can rush through to the exit is that toxic? I wouldn't even know what it is I can smell it stench from here might this be a sign that I'm currently near some swamp? Let's just get on with it, I guess. Okay, so... I guess... I, think I can't move that one. Ow. Well... So, resets... Can we remember what reset was? W... Okay, A is restart completely. Yes. Okay. So, what I didn't anticipate there was yeah then go around push that one up push this one across and then go around again yes I solved it all right progress is being made ah it just keeps going I really want to get out of here so, let's think. Got to deal with this one first. Or else I'm going to get myself trapped. Uh, I'm going to take this one up to the top here. All the way around. There we go. Fantastic. 
A kind of internal mechanism opens and shuts the doors once these bolts are in position. I reckon it's fine piece of engineering. This dungeon is most definitely man-made. Though I guess we already knew that, given there are bars all over the place. What kind of sick freak would put me in here? And above all, why me? Here's Betten. It's our um, solid snake-like looking character who was calling our bluff. Okay. These two are going to swap position. So are they? No, they're not. Oh, crap. Yes. Alright, so... There we go. Make sure we've got enough room to like navigate around them. And everything is hunky dory. Alright. Let's save. And on we go. I have a feeling like this one is going to be like a almost like a rotation puzzle. So that one's going to go all the way. Ooh. Well, that's not what I expected. My theory on that one went out the window quite quickly. Push that one over. More than once, maybe. I can still get around there to push it back. That's fine. So we've got some water here. There's more go ahead. I don't really feel safe entering this room, but I guess I have to. For how long will this go on? It's a good question. So, two, four at the top, one down here. actually oh dear now screwed it gotta take it round this way Same, I guess. There we go. A lot happier. We are making lots of progress in this episode, as opposed to the last where I, I massively failed. Um, Let's open it. I'm just too curious. There is some bandage in the box. Sweet. I could use it if I'm hurt somehow. Okay. Not sure how I'm going to get hurt, but... May become apparent a little bit later. So... I'm going to push this up. One, two, three, four. I've got one extra boulder this time around. 
Interesting. Looks like we're allowed to make one mistake. Well, it kind of makes sense to do this first. And push this one down here. Get them ones out of the way. Pop that one in there first. I don't have an extra one. What am I talking about? Man, I can't count. Amongst a lot of other things. Clearly. Like solving number puzzles. Alright, and now, finish this off. Should be relatively straightforward from here. And finally, this one. Ooh. Sorry. I know I solved it, but I don't want to solve it. Go away. <laughs> I was a little bit worried that um, I couldn't go back there, but um, no. Whew. All right, so. But yeah, this is this is what I was expecting in the game. So when I kind of walked in that first... Oh, okay. No skip mouse. Um... Small tube of liquid of some sorts. Unknown liquid. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I. This is more of the, the game I was expecting to play. From what? Um, oh, that's wrong. From what Mike Asher had told me. So yeah, that's what I was a bit kind of mystified. But I guess there's going to be riddles along the way. I guess is what that's pretty much telling me. So, there's probably going to be more episodes in the future where we're just sat around scratching our head thinking, what the hell do I need to do here? Well, that was pointless. I think with a lot of these, it's a matter of um, putting them in the correct order. Think I, I don't really think I've played. I have played some like these uh, blocky puzzles before, like mobile and stuff, whereby you've got like a wooden grid or a grid of tiles and you have to kind of like try and get the red one out. Alright, we've only got one. I was about to say, if I finish my sentence. Okay, just make sure you go around the blocks and don't get yourself trapped. A bit like this. How? Alright, let's reset the puzzle. That one last would do the trick better. Now if I push that one down and put it in, still go around, but I can't go around to here if I do that. That's the problem. Problem. Unless I leave them like leave them in the middle for 
now. Like there. And... Ah, oh, press wrong. Keep pressing the wrong freaking button. Apologise. Yeah, pretty much screws us over though. So that's not the right thing to do. That's my other move, right? To which I could do that. But you see, if that one wasn't in the top... I could then push this over here. the other one in. Aha, so we finally have one. Relatively tricky. Thing is, that's not going to work unless I. That's not going to work. Do that. Nope, that's not going to work. So what? What can I do differently here? What can I do? Push it in there for a start. Thing is, I need a way to go. It would make sort of more sense, I think, to leave the right unblocked. Thing about this, if I put it, if I put it to the right, I put it to the right. I bring the next one in. Put it to there, but then I can't get round. If I put it at the top. I think I can put one there, because I can push that up. If 
I don't have to go around here to do this. What if I try and do it without the one in the bottom? It's like whatever I do, I am screwing myself over. Um, fortunately, guys, we are out of time for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please return for episode number three, where hopefully we will crack this puzzle and solve many more. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.